Astrology 2020-2040. We're also going to discuss books about healing because I said Chiron in Aquarius, sorry, Chiron in Aries now <coughs> is going to bring us <coughs> a form of new medicine. <coughs> but actually, the new medicines that we have to discover is very ancient and it was described by sages in their books. One is called The Healing Light of the Tao by Mantak Chia and the other one is The Awakening of the Third Eye by Dr. Samuel Sagan and also I'll talk to you about pranic healing. These are the things, the Tao, also the I Ching by Wilhelm Baines, we'll discuss it, that accompany my studies in astrology because the I Ching on its own is not really a tool to give you an accurate future forecast. The I Ching you can use best to answer specific questions to a situation and it gives you always a choice. It tells you in an image what is the upside and what is the risk. Astrology we can use of course for time things. So in January of 2019 Mars enters Aries and becomes extremely proactive and direct. So we will see changes rapidly as 2019 begins. Saturn and Neptune are in good aspects for a year. That helps each other. That makes actually dreams come true or imagination and creative projects can see the light of day in 3D reality. This is in fact a very good long-term one-year aspect into 2020. Then in 2020 things get serious with Saturn and Jupiter meeting Pluto. In 2021 all the planets bunch up into one third of the sky. That's very rare in winter in particular when all the inner planets are also between Capricorn and Aries. The entire activity of the planets is moving now in the star signs, in the constellations of Capricorn, Aquarius then, when Saturn and Jupiter enter in 2021, Pisces, Neptune is in Pisces for six years, and Chiron in Aries, and Uranus in Taurus. So we have these 120 degrees of the sky occupied fully by all the major planets, whereas the other 240 degrees are pretty much empty. This tells us that the times ahead, the two to three years, are very focused into the impersonal signs, Aquarius and Pisces mainly, and then the new cycle has begun with Uranus. What we have we seen so far as a recap was the seven years of self-determination. Many nations are talking about taking their things into their hands, People realize now that self-realization, self-determination is what it's all about. And in Taurus, Uranus discusses and revolutionizes, frees up all the notions to do with economics. Taurus, the land, our resources, and Uranus, as we discussed, opening electronic ways of transfer. It is possible that cryptocurrency will take a foothold over the next seven years. This is the backdrop Uranus in Taurus that is happening while we have these Capricorn alignments. So all of this works together. During an age that's really the age of confusion, we have now seen that the fake media has actually been caught red-handed on numerous occasions. Several sources who worked in mainstream media have explained what their orders are and this is now an out in the open discussion thanks to Jupiter in Sagittarius that's bringing it all out <coughs> in an international manner where the whole world is discussing what is media, what is the role of information and how can we actually change our own perception and figure out what is true and what is invented. This is thanks to the Sagittarius Pisces square alignment that we have going on for a year. Thereafter Jupiter goes into Capricorn in 2020 and becomes managerial. Jupiter in Capricorn can help manifest massive projects. <coughs> this could be for instance 
large infrastructure projects, pipelines and even projects that go for star exploration and space exploration. By 2021, as I explained, Jupiter has passed Pluto and moves together with Saturn into Aquarius. At that point, we should actually then see the beginning of a different kind of internet, other platforms that are open source. Aquarius key word is I know and it all has to do with interconnected, interconnected mankind in open source. So everything that we will study in terms of science, technology, new energies, new internet, new platforms, all this is Aquarius open source in the years 2020, 21 and then all the way to 44 because don't forget Pluto joins Aquarius in 2024 for 20 years thereon. We could say that the next two years 2020-21 are in a way a preview of the next two decades. That's how we can look at astrology.